The Rosetta Stone revolutionized Egyptology because it unlocked the code that helped people understand the meaning behind Egyptian hieroglyphics. So what's that got to do with geological mapping? Well, actually, it's got a lot to do with geological mapping because the process of making a map involves the same thing, putting together a whole series of apparently disconnected facts that you don't understand and making a story out of it that tells what the rocks are all about. The original Rosetta Stone was a slab of basalt discovered in the Nile Delta by one of Napoleon's soldiers in 1799. It was inscribed with a priestly decree to mark the ninth anniversary of the coronation of King Ptolemy V. The text was in three languages, Egyptian hieroglyphic, Demotic and Ancient Greek. Prior to that discovery, there was no link between Egyptian hieroglyphics and any modern language. Interpretations of the cryptic hieroglyphic code were little more than speculation and resulted in countless hours of academic argument. The Rosetta Stone provided a direct translation of the hieroglyphics to ancient Greek and hence to all modern languages. That single stone became a key that unlocked detailed understanding of a 5,000 year old culture recorded in tombs and temples all over Egypt. The geological equivalent comes when you find an outcrop with a key relationship that unlocks understanding of an array of seemingly unconnected observations that you've been collecting in an area of unfamiliar geology. Geological mapping is a bit like trying to put together an old jigsaw puzzle that you found in a bag at your grandmother's place after she passed away. The picture was printed a very long time ago and the original box is missing and the only person who knew what the picture was has unfortunately passed away. So you've got to try and figure it out from what's left. And as you start to lay out those pieces on the table, first of all you realise that half of the pieces are missing and what's left are a bit faded so you can't recognise what most of them are. But you keep going because curiosity fuels your interest and each day you come back and you find one or two more pieces that fit together with the right shape and slowly, slowly a picture begins to emerge but you still really don't know what it is. And then one day you turn over a piece and it links up all the other pieces that you've got and all of a sudden you know what the picture is and you can draw in all the rest of the bits that were missing. That happens in geology mapping as well and when it does, I call those things Rosetta Stones. This rock here is one of those Rosetta Stones. For a couple of weeks I've been mapping this area and I know that there's some quartz feldspar porphyry dikes, there's a magnetite alteration event, there's a deformation event that makes strong foliation, and there's a mineralization event that has red rock alteration associated with it and sometimes albite veins but I couldn't figure out which one of those related to the others and which came first. This rock unraveled it all in one outcrop. Here we've got a quartz feldspar porphyry dike. It's very strongly foliated and it's got layers of altered quartz magnetite in amongst the foliation. So I know that the quartz feldspar porphyry dikes predated the deformation the quartz magnetite alteration post-dated the deformation. And here there's an albite vein cutting across it all with a red rock alteration halo. So I know that that's the last event and that first of all the mineralization post-dates the deformation and secondly that the quartz feldspar porphyry dikes are long before the mineralization and hence probably not involved. It's those little discoveries, those little Rosetta Stones that just make this job so rewarding. <laughs> that feeling of putting in that last piece of a jigsaw puzzle just never gets old. The message here is not to waste too much time trying to interpret unusual geological observations on every outcrop. Just document them carefully and move on. Sooner or later, you'll find your own Rosetta Stone and all the little pieces of information will fall into place and it'll all make sense.